sweet. Well, the last time I came by, you know, I was in my uh, hoodie on the way to the airport, so I thought I'd uh, put a little bit more effort in this time. You look lovely. You look lovely. And yeah, you were here a few weeks ago to uh, get it out. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> You don't want to suppress that. Let he let him. <laughs> yeah, you were here a couple of weeks ago. You were uh, kind of stuck here. You couldn't get uh, the, yeah, the plane Yeah, with the Icelandic volcano and stuff. Yeah. Right. And then we did that thing with that lady. The decibel level of her screaming she still haunts me. Well, you gave <laughs> you gave her a trip to London to see Robin Hood. She was excited. She was mm. very excited. Yeah. Now, when you're here, how old are your was son? Was it excited or was that a medical condition? Uh, <laughs> It turned into a medical condition for you. <laughs> yes. Um, and, and how old are your sons? Charlie is six, and Tennyson is three and a half. Uh huh. And, mm. and were they here with you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they were here, here with me. Yeah, there they are. Hello, boys. Um, they were with me here in Los Angeles, and then uh, I flew to London. I had about four hours to settle them into the house that, that we're staying in over there, but then I went to Paris and Madrid doing press, and then back into London for like a day, and then New York, and then here, and then. As soon as I leave here, I get on the plane and, and fly back. So. Wow. And are they good with traveling? Are they, or do they get jet lag? Or? Um, Charlie loves being on commercial flights, mm -hmm. uh, especially now that they've got the 100 channel thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Any time that he's in a situation where he's got complete control of 100 TV channels and he has a stewardess who's there to bring him food, uh -huh. he's a very, very happy boy. Uh -huh. uh, but he tends to not sleep on planes at all. He just, like, if it's a 20 hour flight, he's going to be awake for 20 hours. Wow. So when you get to the other end, it's insane for three or four days, you know. So when I dropped them in London, I went on and did that other stuff. I came back and, you know, the moment I walked in the door, I could see that Danny hadn't been sleeping a lot, mm. you know. She just had that sort of axe murderer kind of look about her. Uh -huh. I said, hey, bub, you know, how's things going? She goes, great. Things are going great. <laughs> yeah. Glad you're back. Now you can look after your sons. Like, <laughs> oh, you know. So, uh, you know. So that night I said, well, look, you don't worry about it. I'll just, I'll do bedtime and I'll, I'll sort them all out, you know. So I uh, went and read stories to Tenny and he just fell asleep. And I'm thinking, well, there's no problem with that, you know. And so, you know, Charlie was a bit restless. So I said, mate, you know, let's sleep together, you know. So uh, made him more comfortable and I drifted off to sleep. And I wake up in the morning and I think, that was pretty easy, you know. I better make up some stories so she thinks it was a bit hard, you know. So, I, you know, hello, love, how you doing, you know. So uh, Charlie slept all night, you know, I say gently, and she goes, slept all night, did he? <laughs> slept all night, did he? <laughs> like three o'clock in the morning, he's slapping me on the head, <laughs> saying, Mum, wake up. All Dad, Dad wants to do is sleep. He's really boring. <laughs> so you slept through the whole thing? I slept through the whole thing, yeah. Oh. Apparently, he's gallivanting around the house, going in all the different rooms and all that sort of stuff. And, did, uh, that's not right. That's no. not fair. Did you, did you tweet about that? I'm you joined sure Twitter I, recently. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I just wanted to experiment with it and see if it was, it was going to be fun. And it's quite fun, actually. Do you like it? You know? Well, yesterday I did a thing where, you know, I, I was up at like 5.30 in the morning or whatever, and I'm in Los Angeles, look out the window, go, grey day in LA, how is it where you are? Mm -hmm. And that was then got like 80, 90, 100 responses going, you know, I'm in Spain and it's such and such a weather, or I'm in, you know, uh, Argentina, or mm -hmm. I'm in like 17 different states across America. So... It's kind of like an interesting thing. It was like, yeah, now I've got this global weather check. It's a weather yeah. channel, yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that's a good way. To... It is fun. I mean, we use it for games, but it, it's, a, it's a fun thing to do. It, it gets a little much when people are saying everything they're doing all the time. But you were talking about that you were singing, is that right? No, coming up shortly, when we finish all this press stuff, uh, I'm going to go to Rome for a couple of days, because Danielle's birthday. So mm -hmm. we're, I'm going to have sort of a dinner with her in Rome. And uh, I told the Merry Men this, and they were all like, that sounds like a lovely idea, Robin. So uh, <laughs> now I've got, you know, little John and, you know, Will Scarlett and Alan Dale and, and their wives and girlfriends, all, they're all coming too. So we, you know, we thought while we're there, we might just go and do a bit of busking on the Spanish steps and see if we can't get back the you know, cost of the hotel room, you know? <laughs> no, I'm only joking about that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I put it out on, on Twitter and we'll see how many people rock up. But, Spanish steps. Yeah. A lot of people will do that. <laughs> if you we'll if see. you tell people where you're going to be, especially singing, they will for sure show up. Yeah, but it's just you know we're just going to have a couple of acoustic guitars and see how we go with it. You know? Oh well, then they won't. Um, <laughs> you're going to get a lot of people. It seems we are to share my chamber. A ruse to convince the servants. Well, if 
the aim is deception. Should you not be addressing me as my husband or my dear? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Well, are you coming or not? Ask me nicely. There's some amazing sets on this movie. It, it really is. It, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's sort of, you don't often get to work on that sort of scale, and mm -hmm. the, that sort of scale of theatre, but in this movie, you know, if, if you're seeing 130 horses galloping down a beach, we had 130 horses. You know, if you're seeing 1,500 infantry guys try and put a castle to siege, it was that big, you know, so it was a, you know, it was a very um, tiring sort of experience but really joyful at the same time. Every day you were doing something splendid. Well, I can't wait to see it, um, but I have to talk about, I don't know if you've been experiencing, uh, when it, it's been hot here, just uh, just all of a sudden a, a day okay. will be, usually it's okay, but it'll be hot, and I'm, I'm thinking, how do you cool off? And when I was a kid, I used to have fun. How would you cool off when you were a young kid? What would you do to... Depending on where we were, but, you know, um, obviously swimming. Yeah, swimming is, is good. What pool. if you don't have a pool? A hose? Okay, yeah. Just hold Shower. the hose, though? I mean, you'd want to put the hose... An ice cube? <laughs> what if you put the hose, um... What's the thing called? You put it in the thing? Frozen peas down your trousers? Mm. <laughs> That's good, too. I am going to remember that one, because... <laughs> frozen peas. But, uh, no, like, if you have a hose and you want to run through it, it's a, um, what do you call the thing when you put it in, uh, the uh, device, and you, you know... Sprinkler. That's right. 